Nick, how does this activity that we're now seeing uh, from your camera in Sderot, not far from Gaza, how does this activity uh, we're seeing compare to what we've seen over the past few nights? Wolf, over the past few nights, it's not been as intense as this. We haven't seen this level of illumination. We've occasionally seen flares. We've heard heavy detonations. But as I look there, another missile, not sure what sort of missile it was, literally rained down from the sky uh, and impacted on the ground, a bright flash coming up from it. These seem to be slightly smaller missiles. But the area here that's being illuminated by the flares is much bigger than we've seen recently. You just saw a flash come out there. I just saw another missile come down and, and impact on the ground. Possibly the way that the trajectory of that missile is, possibly it's coming from a helicopter. It's just not possible for us to say precisely at the moment. But there is a clear focus of the fire here this firepower and the illumination being bought, it appears on the edge of what I would estimate to be Gaza City. I believe I just saw a rocket actually fly to the right out of Gaza. We'll watch to the right towards Ashkelon and Ashdod, see if there's any uh, interceptions from Iron Dome. But there was a, a red tracer fire literally flew from Gaza to the right, which has normally, from our experience here, been a rocket coming out of Gaza. I don't see any interceptions. Uh, I'm hearing interceptions. I'm seeing the flashes from interceptor missiles being fired out. So while this is going on here, it is clear to me from where I stand right now that Hamas or one of the other groups is firing rockets out of Gaza, even while they are under this heavy fire right now. Wolf, I heard at least two detonations from the uh, Iron Dome interceptor uh, missile shield from uh, systems that are slightly to the north of us here intercepting those rockets flying out of the city. Uh, what this tells us right now is the battle ha is having an intense moment as the troops try to engage with Hamas, as they try to have illumination, they try to use this light to get their way more safely into combat with Hamas. Hamas, of course, and the IDF commanders speak about this, Hamas is fighting on its own territory. It has set traps, it knows where its tunnels are, it knows how it can try to lead IDF troops entice them into a certain neighborhood so that they can bring fire to bear on them. All this illumination here will give the IDF uh, troops on the ground better visibility of the threats that await them. It won't mitigate against them fully, but it is an attempt for them, it appears, to be able to, at this moment, penetrate some neighborhoods um, that, until 15 minutes ago, were in complete darkness. Uh, you're just seeing another flash of light on the ground there as if something has detonated. I'm watching another rocket system in multiple parts, a second one coming down there into the city. It is, this fire is very concentrated. Another rocket just came down. I'm seeing the, 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 the arc of the traces after it there. Um, this is a very intense uh, amount of firepower that's going down on this confined location here, Wolf. Surprising, almost surprising that Hamas was able to fire out a rocket there. I'm seeing flashes off to the north, which is a hint to me that interceptors have been fired from Iron Dome up there again, possibly another intercepting another rocket. But you're seeing the flares that these oftentimes when we're watching flares that are, that are dropped over Gaza, you will see one flare drop, two flares maybe, maybe three, and they'll drop and it'll go to darkness. This is different. This is flare after flare after flare illuminating this area now for, you know, we're looking at perhaps 15 minutes now, Wolf. You know, it's, it's uh, just to uh, remind our viewers what we're seeing. This is our camera in Stirot, just outside of Gaza. We're seeing these live pictures, a massive Israeli airstrike campaign underway right now towards uh, various targets in northern Gaza, as we can see right there, you see all the smoke, you see the, uh, the rockets coming down. Uh, this is a major new development. And we also saw some rockets coming in from Gaza towards Israel that appeared to have been intercepted by Israel's Iron Dome uh, system. Uh, but we're seeing this very intense system. Uh, Nick, stand by for a minute. You're not too far away from all this drama that's unfolding. It seems like a, a, major new, uh, a major new chapter in Israel's air campaign against Hamas targets in Gaza. Ben Wiedemann, uh, you know Gaza well. You've been there. I've been there as well. 
But uh, tell us a little bit, I know you're in, in Beirut right now. When you see these live pictures coming in of this massive Israeli airstrike assault on, on northern Gaza right now, what do you think? Well, what I'm thinking is, I'm from looking at the pictures, Nick is um, in Starot, which overlooks a fairly open area that goes to the edge of the populated uh, parts of northern Gaza. And that seems to be where much of this fire, the flares, are being uh, focused. Now, obviously, they're trying to make sure that those areas are clear. But after those areas, you start getting into the very crowded uh, urban parts of the Gaza Strip, the suburbs of Gaza City, and that's where there's going to be a real danger of high civilian casualties. Now, Nick was uh, quoting the Israeli authorities talking about precision strikes, uh, precise information, but what we know is that oftentimes it's not as precise as it could be or should be. And already what we've seen is a death toll in Gaza, well over 9,000 at this point. So as they move forward into those populated areas, the death toll is likely to soar. And not just that, uh, what we've seen is in the days since the ground incursion began on Friday is that Hamas is using to maximum advantage its knowledge of the terrain it's tunnels that it's been built, uh, booby traps and whatnot, and therefore this is going to be a very bloody fight all around for civilians, for the Israeli military, for Hamas, and uh, this is probably going to be a very long and difficult battle, street by street, house by house, perhaps even room by room, uh, but clearly just looking at these pictures, they are laying down smoke, flares, there's incoming, it looks like artillery, I'm just looking at the pictures now, artillery, rockets, uh, and obviously there are ground troops in there as well. So this is certainly in all my time of watching Israeli military action going into Gaza, this looks like the most intense I've ever seen, Wolf. Yeah, you're making a very important point. This is a very, very intense Israeli air assault on northern Gaza right now, not far away from Sterot, Israel, where Nick Robertson is uh, just north of Gaza right now. You see these rockets coming in, pounding and pounding. Clearly, uh, in the past, when Israel has undertaken a massive air assault like this, it sets the stage for a, a ground invasion that's about to come in. I suspect that's what's, what's going to happen in this part of Gaza as well. Israeli ground troops, tanks, artillery will move in. Uh, after this area is pounded with these heavy airstrikes that are ongoing right now. We're showing our viewers live pictures of what's going on in Gaza. It is really, really intense. Let's go back to Nick Robertson. You're there in Sderot, uh, Nick. You have a much better sense of what's going on. And you say you've not seen anything along these lines. Here come some more rockets into Gaza from presumably Israeli planes flying overhead. But go ahead and tell us, give us your sense of the enormity of this uh, of this, uh, of this development right now. Well, Wolf, I'm standing right next to our cameraman, John Torrigoi, who is, is filming this. Uh, we have a high vantage point overlooking Gaza, and it looks to us as if this is on the northern edge towards Gaza City. As Ben said, there is open ground from uh, the border fence that you saw or you're about to see, because I'm seeing it in real time. There's a delay, a big flash coming out from the epicenter of, of that smoke. This is the biggest and most sustained use of flares, and it appears smoke as well on the ground. We have seen in recent days at the beginning of the incursion, incursion how the IDF used heavy smoke to blanket the area. This is a military tactic so that they can move in unseen. We're seeing it again now. We're seeing big flashes at the southern end of that smoke. And what the IDF is describing this, this evening is a very new situation for them, a much stronger situation for them, whereby they say they have encircled entirely Gaza City. If they have encircled Gaza City, as they say, they have it, it, it's potentially cut the north off the north of Gaza Strip off from the south of Gaza Strip, potentially meaning the Israelis now are blocking any Hamas in the north of the north of the Gaza Strip from escaping to the south. So you're now watching a battle in some ways. You know, one of the team here was just talking about it in some ways. 
it is sort of medieval in that it is surrounding a city. Uh, you're seeing the smoke and the flares and the flashes all coming from an area that's now constrained and contained within IDF forces. And, and as Ben was saying, the civilian casualties on the ground, people have been told to get out of the way. They don't know how to get out of the way. They're stuck in their houses, they're stuck in their homes, and they're getting caught up and killed in high numbers during this operation. But what we're witnessing now are efforts by the IDF to mitigate against casualties for their own forces because they're operating in Hamas territory, territory that the Hamas troops, Hamas fighters, have been able to potentially lay booby traps, have been able to set areas where they want to draw the Israeli troops into so that they can use these armored piercing rocket propelled grenades that they've been using effectively against Israeli armored tanks and, and armored fighting vehicles. So uh, this is this battle really that we're seeing now kicked off uh, 20 minutes ago now, 20, 25 minutes ago, and, and is intense in this area around Gaza City. You, you're continuing to see the rockets come in from above, the flashes at the southern end of the city. Underneath this, we don't know how many IDF forces are, are, are actually arrayed on the ground. The boom that you're hearing, that is artillery going off behind me as well, and is probably what's causing the flashes that you may be seeing on the left of your picture. So another flash there at the northern end of Gaza Strip just now. But these, uh, that looks like something coming up out of Gaza, a, a rocket that didn't go far. Perhaps uh, it fell short. But anything that comes up from the ground is most likely, from the center of that smoke, most likely fired up by Hamas or, or another group inside Gaza. Any Anything that's coming out of the sky like this rocket right now, that will be coming down from Israeli aircraft or potentially from artillery, artillery fired in, Wolf.